today's devotional, we skip over to 1 Chronicles 23. David, knowing he would never see the great temple become a reality in his lifetime, doesn't let that stop him from doing everything he can so Solomon can make the temple a permanent structure to symbolize the greatness of the God of Israel. Now in this chapter, David is creating detailed job descriptions for 38,000 Levites. And here is how David split up those duties. 24,000 men were to be the workers, taking care of the temple facility, its furniture, and to serve the priests in their ministry. 6,000 were set aside as judges for the Jewish people. 4,000 were assigned as gatekeepers and 4,000 for musical praise and worship. But as I look at the church today, the needs are still the same. The church needs a large workforce of people with different skills to accomplish its calling. We need judges or Christian businessmen and women representing God in our community. We need gatekeepers, people who protect the church from sin and false doctrine. And we need worshipers. Now passages like this always excite me as a worship leader because it places a quantifiable importance on skilled musicians and singers. I like where David said that they were to play on instruments he made for the temple. It's a beautiful reminder to me that God created us, me and you, as human instruments of music. Did you know that you have a unique vocal tone? No two voices and stories are the same. So you have a sound and a song that only you can offer to the Lord. The final song in David's book of Psalms says to praise the Lord with, and then lists all kinds of different musical instruments. But the final verse is a message for you. It says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord.